since the dawn of time there has been great minecraft plugins and oh, minecraft plugins this video is going to guide you over five of the most useful yet underrated minecraft plugins which you can find for spigot we're going to be starting out with the first candidate which is called piston chest and as you can see this plugin is very simple it lets you push items into a chest so this one is a simple stone generator right and it generates cobblestone if i place a piston right here and then i right click with the stick i can actually add chest access to this piston so now it will also push items into this chest likewise it can push items out and back from a chest or it can simply keep pushing items from this chest such as stone right here and as well as this one that i already showed you it can push items into a chest and it can even drag items from the chest just like this one and the most fun of all it can literally also boom shoot creepers to the sky goodbye using pistons so it's a pretty fun plugin the only downside why this is a peculiar plugin is it's not updated to minecraft 1.20 and higher so you're gonna want to be sticking with 1.8.8 with that i do think it's going to work up until 1.12 so anything above that sorry guys it needs to be updated or something someone needs to take responsibility and the next plugin that i want to show you is simply called boss for boss and boss is a very very simple plugin to create yet very advanced custom monsters such as this one lover boy and why it's so simple because everything is controlled via gui so if you type slash boss menu you can literally go into bosses and add a new boss using simply your gui selection and it also um it also supports a couple of bosses that are not spawnable such as giants even armor stands and all these other uh bosses such as even snowman snow and then you can simply get the spawner egg and you can start spawning your boss it is extremely customizable so that you can go into settings and then you can just customize pretty much anything you need and it even it provides uh it even provides very easy option for developers to add custom settings likewise there is a citizens integration so that you can actually spawn player npcs with custom skins etc etc and there is a lot of fun stuff such as writing energy so that this uh now the snowman can actually can actually ride the other boss just creating more mess around the game so it's pretty pretty damn funny and as you can see the moment that i change these settings i don't know what's wrong with this boss at the moment that i change these settings all of them are updated automatically which is really cool plus boss also lets you scan and delete bosses in unloaded chunks which is pretty handy if you want to make any change to your server and delete custom monsters in offline chunks saved on your disk especially if you have a huge map the next plugin is called items adder and as you can see it will add new mobs new mechanics new items into the game and everything here is done via a resource pack so that you don't have to do anything you just join the server download the resource pack and off you go and it even it even supports custom animations which is super funny plus it also lets you type in emoticons to the chat hey everyone and then you can simply see the custom emojis just like this one and you can even uh, see a list of them right here which is really really nice there is a whole bunch of custom packs made just for this plugin so it's pretty easy to download custom features without knowing how to create a resource pack even if you've never made a resource pack and a data pack before people have made hundreds upon hundreds of pre-created pack that's why this plugin is so popular because it makes it just so simple i mean look at this dragon it's just beautiful the next plugin is called core protect this is number one anti-griefing plugin and i personally been using it for over three years on my own network this is one of the best plugins to simply log what is going on on your server this is simply one of the best plugins to lock what is going on on your server let me show you so if we have a creeper right here that just blown up 
we can just see when we go into the inspector that creeper broke the dirt and we can actually just roll back say uh time and i want to do one minute and now it should auto set the radius to 10 blocks unless you specify the radius right here and then it simply restores this area now right here as though it was looking before the explosion this also works for players and i do believe that this block has been damaged by myself uh two minutes ago so we can just go to radius set it to five there we go and now this block is back cool so this is very great if you want to manage your server and you want to see, you know, what, what plugin is damaging, which wh who's ever property and stuff like that. And it'll simply help you uh, combat grief. And the final plugin is called Blood Moon. It'll simply create a special nightmare event during which skeletons shoot faster. They can spawn and they can shoot special fire arrows zombies spawn with weapons and armor and basically the whole night is made to be very hard to survive the only issue with this plugin as you can see the last released file on uh, bucket dev is almost is actually more than 10 years ago so if you go to google you can actually find the link right here that is confirmed working with spigot 1.8.8 again this is a plugin that's really really good it had a lot of potential but if you want to run it on the latest Minecraft release, uh, you're out of luck until someone decides to continue it. And maybe this video is inspirational because I do believe if you take one of these plugins, the either Piston Chest or Blood Moon, and you renew it, there will be interest for it because I do, do, do believe so much in these plugins. Anyways, guys, I hope you've enjoyed these five obscure yet amazing Minecraft plugins. I highly suggest you check them out. Three of them are still very, very updated, especially Boss plugin has, is receiving continuous updates with new features. And I do recommend you check that out as well. I'll leave all of the links down in the video description. Now, if you want to code your own Minecraft plugins, what do you do? You go to YouTube, you go to Udemy, you, you take Java classes. No, that's wrong. What you're going to do is you're going to check the class called Project Orient, and it's going to show you how to update all of that plugins, all of these plugins that I just show you. It's a full seven week Java and Minecraft plugin coding class. Plus it has myself personally twice per week, jumping on live Q and A calls. And I've been doing this for the last four years, over 2000 people have signed up for the class and they've all received amazing results, which you can re read more about about in the link in the description as well. There's also a 30 day money back guarantee. If you try the class and you say, you know what, it's not for me, no worries, no hard feelings. I'm just gonna refund your money. So it's a full seven week course on just coding spigot paper and bucket plugins. Plus it contains an entire Java course as well. For those of you who've never made anything before. And I do believe that this is the only way to have a beautiful server is that if you actually know how to update and how to create these plugins and even if you just want to update as you've seen uh with the piston chest plugin if you want to understand how to take the code of it and make it work on 1.20 1.30 what have you you need to have some basic knowledge and this is exactly why i made that course so go ahead check all these links in the video description and i hope to see you guys in the next one thank you